Garibaldi Mexican Bistro is easy to miss because it's tucked away inside a Conoco gas station between the convenience store and the car wash. When I found out, I thought it was one of the best like hidden gems in the area, especially for this downtown Englewood. Don't expect it to be that good, but it's probably the best Mexican in the area. There's like a um, exciting, almost like vibrancy to all the food here. The flavor is incredible. I mean, I think it's unique. Not all places doing dishes like this. One to are probably are doing as good as this. Denver is known for having hundreds of great restaurants. They're also known for having hundreds of great gas stations. This next place combines those two perfectly. For almost five years, Garibaldi has been serving its take on Mexico City and Oaxacan style food. In the short time it's been open, Garibaldi has been recognized as having some of the best Mexican food in Denver. A lot of our recipes are family recipes and traditional recipes that you get from Mexico City. Everything that we do here is Mexico City style. A little more unique, more different than most restaurants here in Colorado. Dishes that we're definitely known for here and that I know you can't find anywhere else here in Colorado are Aztec menu items, so like the enchiladas aztecas. They're organic blue corn tortillas with cactus and sauteed onions. We also have like the nopal relleno, which is a stuffed cactus paddle. The dish that we're really well known for is called the huarache, which is going to be like a Mexican flatbread. It's a big handmade corn tortilla crust that we top off with a lot of different toppings and meats. Today I'm trying three specialties. A huarache azteca, which is a whole cactus paddle grilled and topped with fresh avocado, pico de gallo, and poblano sour cream. And the Garibaldi tacos azules, which is two soft blue corn tortilla tacos, one chorizo, and one marinated steak and a traditional Mexico City style huarache, which is a 14 inch freshly made corn tortilla topped with refried beans, cactus, pico de gallo, and a bunch of other great stuff. Also in the mix is a tasty looking La Yuda. Can you believe this? Can you believe this? How incredible does this food look? I don't even know where to start. So I'm gonna start with this big thing. We have the tlayuda, which is a big staple in Oaxaca. It's like a big, thin corn tortilla. We get a lot of the Oaxaca cheese. It won't taste like any other cheese that you can buy here in Colorado. Even in Mexico, this cheese is a little special. So cheese, they have on here, as mentioned before, is very exclusive. Apparently, you cannot get it anywhere else in Denver. And I am a cheese fanatic. We even have a show about cheese which I have not been asked to be on yet for some strange reason. It's all sitting on a blue corn tortilla. They make their chorizo in-house. It looks incredible. The cheese in the tortilla is really what does it. The chorizo is great, the steak is great, but this cheese they have on here pairs perfectly with the crunch of this blue tortilla. I totally see why. And this is like a really great shareable thing if you bring your friends here for the first time. At least get one of these for a table. Everyone gets like a couple slices, and I'll be very, very happy with that order. I know there's a way to open bottles with other bottles. Yeah. Ow! How do you do it with the teeth? I've seen it done, but I wouldn't try it. Yeah. According to Jesus, the gas station location was kind of lucky. He and his father wanted a location on Broadway because of the potential foot traffic, but locations kept getting snatched up. We just kind of happened in here by luck, stopped by for some gas, and what would you figure? There's a restaurant inside of here, and the people that were in here before us decided they didn't want to be in here anymore, and we came in and, you know, took it off their hands. It smelled amazing when we first walked in here. Also, you don't expect it from a gas station. Like, I don't smell any fumes of gasoline. It just feels like we're in like a really nice restaurant. The food is great, the service is great. The people that own it make you feel like family. They remember you every time you come in. I'm from Kansas City and like one of the best barbecue places in Kansas City was Oklahoma Joe's and it was in a gas station. A lot of people get really, you know, surprised by that. They're like, oh, there's a restaurant in here. Cactus is more common in Southern Mexico. Garibaldi offers it in dishes like enchiladas aztecas, huaraches aztecas, and a signature Garibaldi tacos azules. Garibaldi also features Oaxacan style dishes. I don't know a lot about cactus dishes, to be honest. I've not had a lot of cactus in my life. This would definitely be in the category of something I wouldn't normally order. Mmm. I would have assumed the cactus would have been kind of tough, but this is actually really tender. And it has this almost like earthy flavor to it that with the meat and the sour cream just works so well together. And of course, forgot, most important ingredient of all, the lime. 
Yo! That's fantastic. I would come here every day for that. So for those of you in Denver looking for uh, a brunch spot, may I recommend Garibaldi's, ready? Because they got those eggs. What up, eggs? I can't say enough good things about the meat and the cactus. It is just so flavorful and so delicious. I mean, they were very generous with these tacos. The cactus pairs so well with the steak or the chorizo. It really is like, like the MVP of all these dishes. Everything I had here was terrific. It's no wonder they're amassing a growing loyal fan base. Don't let the gas station location dissuade you. Pop in and give them a try next time you fill up or get a car wash. <laughs>